Hello everyone, I'm Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a scenario based on schedule triggered. Let's understand the requirement to implement schedule triggered flow. So we need to copy account billing address to related contact mailing address, right? So this is the requirement that I'm going to implement with the help of scheduled triggered flow. So here, I'm going to create a flow. So I'm selecting scheduled triggered flow, clicked on create. So here I need to set uh, this date and time. So uh, I will be setting it later as per the org current date and time. So right now let's say frequency is once. So once you want to uh, copy whatever address is available in the billing address fields on account to your related contacts, right? So what we can do, we can just have, update record element. So we need to update contacts. Now here we need to specify the condition. So we can have account ID equals Okay, here dollar record is not available. So to have that current record, so we just need to specify this object so that for which record this flow is running, that, inf that records information will be available in the dollar record variable. So you can have this account and uh, here you can specify the conditions like billing city is null false. Then we have billing country is null false. Then billing state is null false. Then billing street is null false. and zip code. So actually billing addresses uh, having all these five information, if uh, like they are not null altogether, then only we want to run this flow. So this is my requirement in your case, it may be different. So accordingly, you can modify this condition. So in my case, like if uh, billing city, country, state, street, and postal code all are having some values, then only I need to run this. So I clicked on done. Now, if I choose update record, so I can choose contact and account ID equals. Now we have this dollar record dot. ID, right? So the contact record whose account ID is equals to this uh, records account ID, that contact record will be updated and we need to assign values like this. Dollar record dot billing city, then mailing country, it will be having dollar record dot billing country, then mailing state, dollar record dot billing state, then mailing street, dollar record dot Billing Street, then mailing postal code, dollar record dot
billing post report. So this way, all the fields are mapped and uh, you can click on done. So if your frequency is one, in that case, this is correct because your account information will be copied to the related contact. But if you somehow run your flow on daily basis, if you run your flow on daily basis, so what will happen like same records will be processed daily that you don't want to do, right? So what we can do, uh, we can just create a field, checkbox field on account, like uh, whether account billing information is copied to contact mailing information or not. So if that checkbox is checked, then those records won't be queried uh, in this flow. If that checkbox is unchecked, then only uh, that record, those records will be queried in this flow. So we can do that. So before moving to there, I'm just saving it. Okay, so we just need to set So right now I'm selecting random date and time and frequency. I'm just saving it. I'm not activating it. So before that I'm moving to object manager, account, fields and relationships, new. I'm going to create a checkbox field. naming it as address copied. So initially it is false. Right, so this field is created. Now I just need to refresh my flow so that I will be having that newly created field in the flow. So now here in the condition, I'm going to put that as well. So address copied equals to false. If it is false, it means we need to copy account billing information to contact mailing information, otherwise not. And after copying, we need to update account record as well. So if we queried the records where checkbox was unchecked, now after update, we need to check that checkbox. So address copied equals to true and done. So this way now this flow is ready to use, right? So what we can do, we can just activate this flow, but here we need to set the date and time. So frequency, let's suppose daily date is today's uh, or as per the org date. So what I can do, I'm just opening this opportunity record and I'm just changing some field here and I'm going to save it. So here uh, you can see last modified date time, date 57, time is 10.29. So date is correct, time I'm going to change to 10.31, clicking on done, save, and activate. Now, if I go to schedule jobs, so I will find one entry there. So here you can see update account address to contact. It is scheduled, scheduled at 10.30. Next schedule one is 10.31. So now all the account, wherever account address, billing address is populated, those will be copied to the related contacts mailing address. So what we can do, we can just move here. So here you can see we have these uh, records. So I am just having that field as well. Address copied. So only those records will be having it, it true uh, wherever address is copied. So you can see our flow executed. So I'm just refreshing this page. So it, it is executed and scheduled for next run. So it started on 5.7. Next schedule run is for six, seven. And here also you can see like wherever billing information, billing state is available. So only those records are having this checkbox checked, right? 
here it is not uh, checked so maybe on this record all five address fields are not populated so if i go here so you can see postal code billing country is blank so that's why uh, this address is not copied to the contact so this depends on the requirement like in in your requirement if uh, you you want to copy whatever information is available so you can uh, set the entry criteria accordingly right so now if i open any of the record and go to the contact so you will find the same uh, address in the billing information so sorry mailing information so here you can see mailing information is available right so if i go to this account details so the same address is available so this way like after executing this flow you can verify the data don't forget to create that field checkbox field because it is important now next day when this flow will be running so uh, wherever this checkbox is checked so those records won't be processed unnecessarily so this is how you can copy account billing address to related contacts billing address